All right. The good news is we're working on a property here which is full of stuff. The bad news is I'm working on a property here which is full of stuff. And um, you'll see what I mean. We've got some absolutely fabulous pieces. But it is not a property that we can do an estate sale in. However, um, there's lots of estate sale pieces in here. Probably not making any sense. I'm just kind of um, not so much overwhelmed. I'm just I'm trying to sort this out in my brain here. And I'm not sure what to do next. Look at those. So I'm going to put this video out and um, give me some suggestions here because it's it's a fantastic collection. Um, she's died and they're um, dealing with the daughters and then the house is um, pending sale but I've got to get it emptied. And this is just, I mean look. Books, we've got jewelry we've got to go through. So basically, I'm going to post this and uh, ask you for advice. And I'm doing these long, crazy pauses here because I just keep something else just keep catches my get, keeps catching my eye. Um, so I know a lot of you will want some of this stuff. How do I sell it, <laughs> basically? Would you want to come in here? Would you want to come into this house and buy it just like this? And this is nothing, this is no judgment on the family. This is just what can happen. I'm showing you, you know, I try and show you the good, the bad, the ugly. I'm showing you what can happen sometimes. You've got um, the kids living away from here. They don't live in Lynchburg. Or one does and she can't get around very well. And, I mean, there's, there's lots of reasons why a house just goes, just gets left, you know, like this. 
and I just want to a I want to just save this stuff because I mean this woman she just she collected and she she used to take you know when she was able to take care of it and display it and put it in you know notes and labels and I just want to get it into the right hands I don't just want it in a dumpster but I'm gonna need your help.